David Mabuza, is expected to deliver the keynote address. For more on this story, we now take you live to SABC News reporter Luando Numoyi, who's in Kameha. Luando, it's great to have you on the program here. I see uh, there's a hive of activity behind you there. Take us through it. What's happening? Well, thank you very much. Indeed, there is a hive of activity behind me. We started here at Kabecha in Motherwell. You would and you do understand that these are May Day celebrations and commemorations of Workers' Day. We, we, we are right now at the Ikam Vilise police station, whereby you know affiliates and workers have handed over a memorandum at the police station. And part of the demands, you know, it is. It, it, it is the crime, the escalating crime, you know, within this area. So they've come here. There is a representation of the police as well. And we were also expecting one of the representations from the Labor Department. But in conversation with me, I do have the Provincial Secretary of Kosatu, Uguram Laulegi, just to be in conversation to us about the proceedings of today. Thank you, for, thank you very much for your time. So welcome to SABC News. Just briefly take us through, you know, the processions of today. We understand that we're at the police station today. Um, What's currently unfolding? Well, um, the, the, um, what is happening here is that we are marching. And the reason for us to march is because we have some demands that we are placing to government via the Department of Labor, but as well we deal with local issues that relates to crime. Crime has infested our, our communities and um, the criminals are in charge of our, our streets and um, the police seemingly they having a challenge to deal with that. But we look at uh, how accessible drugs are to the young kids that, that destroys the future, their future and also the future of the country. Uh, recently there's been uh, some political uh, motivated killings that have been taking place in the Nelson Mandela Metro and we're saying uh, such has to be investigated to go to the to the root cause of that and also the culprits be brought to book uh, expeditiously. We do also understand that part of your demands um, besides the, the, the issues that are affecting society now bringing it closer you know into the working environment you know what are some of the demands that are still you know you, uh, outstanding you know as you know that you guys want to be urgently addressed? Well, in the main is the whole question of the job job losses. And then and then the COVID nineteen has exacerbated this the situation that is that is is is, is, is obtaining currently. And uh, we look at um, at the high rate of uh, Unemployment is so far as youth is concerned as a ticking time bomb that is ready to diffuse any moment. So we say government must find a way with business how best to deal with that with that with that situation because it it it, 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 it exacerbate the question of the triple um, the challenge of poverty, inequality and unemployment. Mm -hmm. And then the, such the challenge that's why Kosad is saying the three hundred and fifty rands that is given to, to those that are unemployed should continue and we say it should go we should go back to the demand that we had of the basic income grant. Uh, that's what this one challenge. The other challenge is the uh, whole undermining of the collective bargaining. That's a sore point uh, to, to, to the workers, both in the in the public sector as well as in the private sector. Because the private sector has taken tune from, from, from government so far as undermining the collective bargaining. And we say we are not going to, to, to just accept that, um, folding our hands. We are mobilizing our workers so that we, we really come up with a very strong campaign uh, to force uh, em em employers to implement what Whatever has been agreed upon, because that, that's the essence of a trade union, you know, the collective bargaining. Yes. Without collective bargaining, why why do we have a union? Yeah, yes, yeah. All right. And now we are at the police station. Obviously, the next step now would be going to the to the Raymond Klaba um, yes. Sports Centre yes. and Union. What can the workers expect? You know, from the union officials, you know, the message of support. Well, we, we, we are having um, the International Workers' Day rally to reflect, one, where do we come from? What has been the challenges in the past? What are the current challenges that we were confronting now and how best to deal with those challenges? But you're also saying, how do you celebrate the gains that we have achieved over the period? For sure, if you look at the gains that we have achieved over the period, they are under threat. So they are being rolled back in a way, government and business, that's what they're doing. Because in, 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 in government maybe can be can be can be government, but also is an employer. So it behaves the same as other employers. And other employers look at government how it, it conducts its business and then and then, and then we, we are faced with such a challenge. And the such a challenge has to be addressed. And then and that's what we're saying as as, as as workers. But again, going back to the basics. We should reflect where do, where do we come from? 
What are those basics? Because we can't just say go back to basics without other people understanding what are those basics. Unity and singleness of people is amongst those basics. Building strong shop floor organization is amongst those basics. Solidarity within the unions and amongst the unions and the federations is amongst those, those, those um, uh, uh, um, uh, basics. But again, political education is very key. We, we can't talk about changing the current situation, the status quo, without having empowered trade unions politically and ideologically. So that's what we, 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 we're busy with as, as an organization. But we take into account that we are drawn from communities, the, the social ills in the communities, we sh should have a role and then work with the community-based organizations to, to, to take that struggle forward. Thank you very much for your time. The, the pleasure is mine. Thanks. That was Comrade Kuram Laulegi from the provincial Kosatu office. Um, just briefly outlining some of the things that you'd be expecting today as the May Day commemorations take place here in Kabecha. But we will keep you updated with the rolling coverage as the day moves forward. But from us here in Kabecha, it's back to you in studio. Rwanda Nomoi there for us in Kabecha. Thanks very much indeed for that report. We'll be touching base with you a bit later on. From